Yo, once again, Kanye is up to his usual antics, and I want to talk about it. Yo, what's up? I'm Jaden Nerd, and I want to talk to y'all about Kanye's pro-Trump rant on SNL. Now, we all know Kanye, and he's no stranger to controversy, or being provocative, or being notorious, or just being in the news, or, or just saying or doing something that has either it's just he's polarizing it's the word that i'm looking for so his the fact that so the fact that he's a polarizing figure is not news to me the thing that really kind of got my attention about this pro-trump rant it wasn't the fact that it was about trump it wasn't the fact that it was a the, the rant it wasn't the fact that chris rock was like my god it wasn't the fact that he got booed it wasn't the fact that the, the cast members looked like they were cringing. The thing about Kanye that kind of frustrates me is because even if he has a message or even if there is some validity to what this guy is saying, he doesn't know how to articulate what he's trying to say. See, that's the thing about it. That's what I want to focus on. Kanye's inability to articulate effectively what it is he's trying to say. He gets up on stage and he's talking about being censored, being bullied, essentially. And, you know, you have to understand your audience, dude. So basically, you go on SNL and you have this weird, weird performance in one of the skits. And, you know, and, and again, we, 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 we already know, right? So we, we already know that you either want to see something that's going to make you scratch your head. We don't know whether it's just for marketing, if it's just for more publicity, if you truly are off your rocker, if you're having a manic episode. I really don't understand. So I'm not going to try to, like, analyze because I'm not even qualified to do so. But it was it was the rant. And some of the things that you were talking about. And, and see, this is what that is. I think you have it in reverse. You're saying follow your heart. Don't go with your brain. But a lot of times, Kanye, the people that are doing the most harm are following their heart. They're following their feelings. They're following their 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 what it is that drives them, their interests, their bias, their prejudice. A lot of that comes from feeling, how they feel, emotion. So when you're telling people to to ignore reason and ignore evidence and ignore, you know, facts, ignore things that your cognitive brain needs to process, to learn, to understand cause and effect and, and all of these other things that fall under that umbrella. I feel like it's very irresponsible of you. Like you already know you have a following. You already know that people either like you or dislike you, but they listen on any way. You have a platform and it's extremely irresponsible of you, Kanye, to say these things because that's how you feel. And see, that's the 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 contradiction, because you're, you're talking about, you know, what you feel and, and, and how we need to follow our hearts. But a lot of your information is erroneous. And if you were reading or if you were doing a due process and, 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 and fact checking, then some of the statements that you make, Kanye, wouldn't even be made. It, it All right. So look, after this pro Trump rant on SNL and, and, and I'll put the link to the rant in the description so you can check it out. It's a couple videos out and you can kind of, you know, get your opinion on it. I don't think that it was anything crazily off the rocker. I mean, and, and one real quick note before I go back to the rest of this commentary you got to know your audience, dude. Like, you are on SNL, and primarily they have been roasting the hell out of Donald Trump. They have been roasting President Trump since he's been in office. They have been roasting him and his cabinet and his administration. They have It's just been one old good old roast. And you go on there knowing that if you wear this MAGA hat, you get what I'm saying, this Make America Great Again hat, with the rhetoric that you're, you're you're saying, you're going to get a reaction. Are, now, are you going with genuine intentions to like really have dialogue, even though this is supposed to be a show and entertainment and it's sketch comedy and it's all shits and giggles? Like, I don't, 
I didn't understand it. So that's just something else because I really feel like if you were really trying to get us to understand or wake up as it is, then why don't why aren't you in these neighborhoods? Why aren't you in these communities? Why aren't you in the, the, the places where we are impoverished, where we are, you know, a victim of systemic racism or, you know, institutionalized racism or whatever you want to call it. Why aren't you doing your tour or coming through in these con- communities, these neighborhoods, doing voter drives, having having town hall meetings to really get your agenda out there? But you know, I'm, I'm, that's another video for another day. The biggest part of my, my, my beef with you, Kanye, right now is you follow this up with a, with a, with a tweet and you're wearing this hat, and again, it's your prerogative, your fu- your style, your fashion, but you're going to say that you want to abolish or that you are in favor. I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing the tweet so that I can get to the commentary. You're basically saying that you want to abolish the 13th Amendment, and you're talking about how this hat represents love and, and unity and what, what, ha- what needs to happen in this country. And see, this is where you failed, Kanye. You failed because... You didn't articulate, you did not articulate what the, you, you, people know the 13th Amendment, they, a lot of us are thinking just, um, it, it was ratified to end slavery. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's a very, very bare bones definition. It's, it's far more extensive. You fail to realize, or you fail to articulate that you're talking about prison reform. You're talking about within the criminal justice system. You're talking about slavery not being utilized as, as, as profitable gain for these privately owned or federal prisons. That's what you did not articulate. And this is my beef with you, sir. You call yourself the genius of a generation. You call yourself and you have this God complex and, 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 and you feel like your music is this and it's epic and all of this and your words and your lyrics and you can't even articulate a simple point, sir. But this is what I want to present to y'all. So what do y'all think about that? How do you feel? Do you feel like Kanye had a valid point or message on the rant on SNL? Do you think that, do you understand his tweet? If you can, can you explain it to me or some of the other people? Because I feel like he doesn't articulate it fully. And then it gets lost in translation. Or if you think Kanye is just using this as publicity, or it always seems to line up with a song or an LP or an EP or some clothes or fashion line or some bootleg derelict collection. Yeah, we see you, Kanye. Yo, put that in the comment section below. I want to say thank y'all for letting me talk about this. If you can, please throw a like on the video, subscribe and share. It's greatly appreciated. I'm Jaded Nerd. I'll talk to y'all next time.